Hello class, this um, week on module three, we're gonna be learning about the EKG uh, or ECG and also blood vessel and blood vessel function. This first set of um, notes are on the ECG or the EKG. The name are the same depending on um, what you use. So let's um, start looking at how the, what is the ECG really measuring? So if you look at the, Word, the ECG is measuring, you're looking at electrocardiogram, which means it's a gram is a graph of the electricity of the heart. So if you look back last part of the lecture in the last week, we learned about the conduction system. And the conduction system is a series of electrical activity through the heart, resulting in different actions of the heart. So we, let's look, review quickly. We have the SA node in the right atrium conducting electricity through the atrial tissue, and then the AV node moving that electricity into the ventricles through the His bundle, then the bundle branch on the left side and then the right side. And then we have all the little branching into the Purkinje fiber. All these are causing an electrical change through the heart. Well, this electrical change is very important for the heart function and allowing the heart to contract when it's supposed to do and also move blood when it's supposed to. So if we can have a graphical view of what this, how this is happening, it'll be very useful for, our to for us to figure out why the heart is not working or what's wrong with the heart. That is where the electrocardiogram or the ECG, EKG comes in, okay? You can look at a little um, video that explains the ECG. Again, you can also, if that's helpful, if it's too much information or too little information, you can skip that. That's just all supplemental information. So let's take a look at the next slide. In the, in the next slide, um, we're just summarizing what the ECG or EKG look like. So this is a roadmap of what we're gonna be looking at in the next few slides. So you just wanna take a little overview so you can kind of see that you have um, electrical activity being detected. So let me take a blue pen and explain what's going on. So as you're measuring the electrical activity of the heart, it's being graphed in a strip. And in that strip, and you'll see little peaks and flat lines and peaks and flat lines. So what is the strip measuring? So if you were to look at this as a graph, you have the y-axis, and then we have the x-axis. Sorry, drawing a straight line here. So the x-axis is measuring time, okay? And the time is very fast, because if you think about it, if you have one beat per second, these are events happening within that beat, okay? So this is measuring milliseconds time, okay? And milliseconds was, would, be, would be like one thousandth of a second. And then we also on the y-axis is that you have changes in amplitude, okay? And the change in amplitude is actually a voltage. Again, this is not huge volts like your electrical car or things like that. These are voltage uh, or potential measure in milli volts, okay? So that's what you're looking at. So if you can see, like if I'm coming in from here, this is no change in milli volts, and then we have a change in milli volts. No change and change in the label. So we're going to look at this in detail as to what is happening at each part. So this is the summary figure, and I'm going to go through it step by step and then put it all back together again. So if you don't understand everything on this slide, it's okay. It's allowing you to see, okay, where are we going first and then where are we going next? Okay, so let's take a look at um, each slide. I'm telling you what is the component we're looking at. So in this one, we'll be looking at the P weight. Okay, the P wave is the first wave here in highlighted in green. Okay, so what you're going to be looking at is that here is the heart coming in at rest. So it's resting, and then something changes not to allow it to have a wave of electricity, a millivolt change. So what happened? A switch must have turned on. So in order for that switch to turn on, what that switch is, is the SA node. Remember that we had to talk about the SA node firing the action potential from rest to reach threshold to the action potential from last unit. So once that switch turns on, it's like turning on a light. 
the wave of electricity is gonna move through those tissue, okay? And then it's gonna light up or depolarize or change the electrical event of the atrial tissue. So you'll see this wave of event, which I wrote here in green, is a wave of atrial depolarization, okay? So two events are happening. Here I describe it in words, and here you can see it in the picture, and here you can see it in the graphical form, okay? So you wanna kinda uh, look at that and then think about um, what is um, going on. Okay, so now remember, after you turn on the switch and the atrial tissue is depolarized, let's see what happened next. This is the full depolarization of the atrial tissue, okay? So that's right after the P wave, atrial tissue is, um, is depolarized. Now we have a flat line. So in this flat line area, What's happening? There is no electrical change, but something is happening, right? So after the atrial tissue is depolarized, it's not time for it to do work. So the work that it's doing is contraction. So this flat line is actually quite important because this is where the atrial systole or contraction is happening. And that contraction allows the atria to pump, move the blood, the rest of the blood into the ventricles, okay? So fill the ventricles with blood before the next step, okay? So this is also the delay before the next event. So this is where the AV delay also happens, okay? It's, this is the check. So we call this the PR uniform, un interval, but it's actually in this little highlighted region. But it's easier to measure from a point to a point. So you start from the beginning of P to the R tip of R, okay? So that's called the PR interval. Again, you can read about what is happening at each step, but you can also look at the pictures and listen to what I have just explained. Okay, so let's look at the next step. So after um, the PR interval, remember blood has moved from the atria to the ventricles. So ventricles are filled now. So now it's time for the ventricles to do its work, okay? So for the ventricles to do its work, the switch, that turns on the ventricle is the AV node, okay? So that's right here, okay? So you gotta remember that AV delay is important. So the AV node kind of waits for all that to kind of happen and an AV node will turn on firing action potential and then that action potential will move through the His bundle and branch it out to the right and left bundle branch and then into the Ferginji fibers. All that electrical activity, the switch and then the wiring that moves electrical activity is as shown in the complex called QRS, okay? So when the node turns on the action potential and then the ventricular depolarization is happening, this is all shown in the QRS. So we have the node turning on here. And then we have this wave, which is ventricular depolarization. Okay, so now the ventricles are being charged in a sense of the, that wave of electricity coming in to charge that ventricle, okay? So that's what happens after QRS. Atrial is repolarizing at this time too, but you're not gonna be able to detect it with the amount of energy electrical changes in the QRS, okay? So we will not worry about that too much. Okay, now after the atrial tissue is fully depolarized, what does it have to do? This is a repeat, right? So it's gonna be flat again. So now you're gonna do mechanical work, physical movement of the blood, which is not electrical change, so it's gonna be flat here. So we're looking at the ST segment, and the ST is when you see the ventricles pumping blood out of the heart, okay? And this is happening right here in this highlighted region, the ventricular system, okay? Okay. After ventricle systole, now the heart has returned to rest or repolarized. So repolarized is symbolized by this red color. So this wave, T wave, is showing a wave of electrical change that is ventricular repolarization. Okay, you can see that wave. Okay, that's the T wave. And after the heart has repolarized, it's actually at rest. So from here until the next P wave, this is time between the beats. So it's called um, diastole, rest time, time between the beats, okay? So then you're gonna go on again 
one is our PQRST, rest, PQRST, rest. Okay, so that's, that's actually the gist of what's going on in um, the EKG. So I also have drawn this by hand, okay, and that summarizes everything I talked uh, um, talk about, okay? So um, I have this video. I'm gonna, I will make a video of me drawing, explaining this summary also in just a, another video. So that will, this one won't be as long. So you can see that I drew it. So then you can, you can highlight all the events. I highlighted yellow are all the atrial, things happening in the atria. All the pink are things happening in the, in the ventricles. And then the orange are nodal events, the switch. The green is the wave of electricity changes, okay? And then the blue is when you will see contraction systole. So I color coded so you can see the different events happening in the EKG. And this is a summary figure of basically what I talked about. So um, this is a really great place to memorize and then start thinking about, okay, what the, really happens at each component, okay? And that goes along with what you learned last week of what happens. Okay, so this is the EKG video. I'm gonna stop here and then I'll have another video again, like I say, sh uh, showing you how to draw and explain um, this EKG again in summary. And then I'll then move on into looking at um, pathological EKGs and do a video on that. Okay, I hope this is helpful. Again, and let me know if you need extra help. Send me questions. We can also meet or um, ask for another video. Um, and then the rest is just really studying. It's really not that hard, but it's so medically important that you want to take the time to really learn it. Good luck.